Harry must have been crying a lot then marijuana money solicited the truth about Megan Bimbo, over Boston co-stars, say the TV beauty knew exactly what she was getting into. It could look classier while pretending to be classy. Prince Harry's high-maintenance wife Meghan was a pot smoker, cheeky bembo and golder and dumped so many men eating richer than last until she hit the royal jackpot. According to palace sources, but now apparently Meghan is desperately trying to hide her eye candy from a hot girl in a suitcase on deal or no deal. According to sources who say Meghan is doing her best to rewrite history by claiming on her podcast that she was treated like a bimbo on the game show, but now Meghan's former boss on the TV show and her co-stars have had enough and their claims in a new baby gate that exposes her hypocrisy and apparently even her detractors at Buckingham Palace are elevating her to a high. Palace broker reports that she has her own constant need for publicity to blame for all of this. She continues to claim that she has been used and abused by Hollywood, but all that has been done is to draw attention to the things she wants to cover up. Apparently, she expects everyone to forget about her, but too many people remember her as a cheeky bimbo who takes money to show off her boobs on a game show and more. Sticky quote on Meghan's background. She raised her eyebrows in the palace as she joined Harry, according to the courtier. They saw her as a Hollywood girl, and Prince William even tried to persuade his brother to slow down the romance. Now in her forties, Meghan got her big break at twenty-four. She got a job as a briefcase model and BC No Deal dealer from 2006 to 2007. And now she's critiquing the hit game show in which false eyelashes and hair extensions to get a fake tan and to pad your bra, turning it into an unintelligent bet. He accused .it was a matter of beauty, not intelligence. And we got so many opportunities, because of this show, the entertainment columnist's name and the notes no one kept a book for Markle's had to be one of 26 hottest and matching outfits. A trader without a deal. He auditioned for the gig, this job was a stepping stone without a drug dealer. No arrangements. You could say that Markle may now be a hostess at the Rainbow Bar and Grill and married to a landscaper, but snobby Meghan seems obsessed with rescinding her pass. According to the palace source, it could project a primitive and correct image. She is now a royal duchess, but the evidence points to her being a mistress and leaving the potter as her courier, Meghan allegedly served illegal marijuana at her beach wedding to her first husband, the mental producer to entertain Anderson in Jamaica in 2011. She also helped roll joints and drank and smoked with friends as an eyewitness. Dutch also has a reputation for hanging out with boys and leaving them when they can no longer help him on his way to start according at the Palace Spring. She allegedly dumped her first husband in the mail, then dumped her resident partner, the famous Canadian chef. When he had Harry, his dream came true turned into a nightmare for royalty. According to this courtier, Meghan was not the flawless bride that the royal family was hoping for. They told me they were watching his hard part closely. When he allegedly got a fake ID to go drinking and packing a 15-pound binge, there were even people who looked like Harry's mother, Princess Diana Dot, but the medical records have been sealed, so we'll never know. Meghan also wrote a daring diary detailing Hollywood's struggles to be filled with sordid confessions, talking about her magic boobs, lots of sex and the race for stardom. According to Spies, the source says no wonder the royals are smothered in their genetics. Now they're preparing for history to repeat itself with ambitious Meghan ditching Harry when the pixie dust clears and finds someone richer. More powerful, now Harry was born VIP because he was born royal and Meghan is his wife. But it is common for the spouse of a member of the royal family to step back and in turn greet the officials according to royal protocol. And if this self-proclaimed American feminist doesn't like that kind of protocol, then why the hell did she pretend she'd kick off like a real worker? Was it because he wanted to have this spectacle of a wedding? Maybe. What could possibly make him think his pushing his way through the royal front line and changing all the rules to suit him? She's an incredibly pushy person, 
and made her way through the 2016 games. The official seemed to kidnap Harry along with his sidekick, then didn't like it when the officials forced them to leave. But of course that didn't deter her for long. She was determined to find herself a prince, nothing like a bit of blackmail, but now Meghan has well and truly made Harry her prisoner and dragged him to Hollywood after the Queen expelled her. He has run out of any other contents of the palace with which to blackmail the King and his family. Luckily though, society caught on to her mean ways and they figured out pretty quickly to shut up when Meghan was around. But now it looks like Meghan and Harry are trying to rejoin the royal family. Nobody else wants it. Dot, but when you make your own bed, I'm sorry you have to lie on it. Obviously I don't know her personally. I wouldn't, but I listened to this horrible interview and I'm sure in this interview she meant to hurt people. I think Meghan is a horrible person even to do this stupid interview, and I have a question, if you watched the interview, if you didn't need it, because she will tell you everything you need to know about this woman diabolical. As an American woman, I feel I must announce to the world that Meghan Markle does not represent us. You see, we care about our families. We are not trying to divide them. We protect our children. We are not trying to make money from them. We know we are equal to our husbands, we don't try to be above them. We donate money to charity. We don't make money with them. We love our parents. We don't just treat them like trash and we know how to respect our elders, we don't try to hurt them at every opportunity. We have to work hard to earn a living. We don't just live off men, charities, lawsuits and taxpayers, this woman is such a shame. She is the opposite of all hard-working, caring and honest people. Megan Lowe This independent and tough feminist, but who does not have the intelligence to understand the real forces and to shut up, work hard and be patient. Megan just doesn't have the knowledge to work well with others, and she certainly couldn't lead them like any kind of manager. Megan Markle doesn't understand how important traditions are because she's a spoiled brat and just wants things her way. She was the wrong choice for a wife. She could never enter the royal family. You see, Harry fell into lust and Megan cried in a heap on the floor and has been handling him ever since. I can't help wondering if she cries and piles up on the floor when her kids aren't listening if they're real. I mean King Charles is a smart, good, kind person, and I'm afraid that when Harry comes home totally broken he'll be welcome back in the company from Charles. After all, Charles is her father and I don't think she wants to see him fail, but I still hope she bans him from public office for good.